Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mia Sin. Today I'm actually going to be reviewing the Infinite Negate combo. Not just one card, but actually kind of four cards and I guess art types and decks and stuff like that. Is this combo actually meta relevant and meta threatening? Should you be scared of this? How you can pull this off and how you can break it? What kind of decks you can actually use to use the strategy, etc. So these are all good reasons to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. <laughs> you know, that uh, good uh, plug, uh, publicity plug. But anyways, let's get right into it. So first of all, how many cards do you actually need in order to pull this combo off? Well, you need a combination of four cards. Two of them have to be in the extra deck and two of them have to be in the main deck. So of course, you already know that the two extra deck cards are Simorg, Bird of Sovereignty and Union Carrier. And the two cards in the main deck are Mist Valley, Apex Avion and Mist Valley, Thunderbird. Now, these two cards that I just mentioned are not actually Gem Knight Garnets. It's you know, you understand what I mean by Gem Knight Garnets. It's a card that if you draw it, your combo is 100% dead. But they are kind of Taketomborgs in a way because back in the days when you drew Terratop and Taketomborg, you were just like, oh man, come on. My Taketomborg just does nothing. It, it's basically as if I skipped a draw. Whereas if you actually drew Brilliant Fusion and Garnet, well, you had two useless cards in your hand because Brilliant Fusion had to use the materials from your deck. But thanks to the fact that Simorg and Union Carrier respectively, especially summon and equip from the hand or deck well at least this is 100% checked and you shouldn't actually have to worry too much about that so if you have a good three card hand alongside these two bricks or just one brick or you know anything then it's not the end of the world you can actually still play the game now, why am I talking about the infinite negate combo now when it was actually a thing before? The main reason why I'm talking about it now is because Raid Raptors and Tri Brigades are actually just kind of becoming more and more popular. Uh, people are splashing Tri Brigade in decks that I feel uh, shouldn't actually, you know, be splashed in. For example, Zodiac. I think the best way to play Zodiac by far is pure. Uh, the OCG agrees with this and the, you know, meta top cut spots in the TCG online tournament also agree with me. I don't really understand why people are still playing Tri Brigade cards on the in that deck, but in a deck that actually kind of can play without the normal summon too much, I think the Tri Brigade cards are fantastic because they kind of always all have the same effect, where on the field you can banish any amount of Beast, Beast, or Wing Beast, special summon a link to a link monster that is, you know, Beast, Beast, or Wing Beast, uh, you know, with a link rating that is equal or lower, no, sorry, exactly equal than the amount of cards banished, so you can kind of see why summoning Simorg would be very easy because it is a wing beast and it is a link three. So, you know, when you're making a link three monster, it's really hard to do it within a short amount of summons. But when you're kind of cheating the system by instantly summoning from your extra deck without really linking off, well, in a way you could kind of play through Nibiru and also in a way, you can actually do the full infinite negate combo through Nibiru depending on if you already had an, like an established setup. But it is ridiculously hard and you kind of already need like a stacked graveyard and probably cards already on the field at this point. So Nibiru will pretty much always kind of cancel the infinite negate combo. Now what is scary about the infinite negate combo is the fact that if you didn't really draw any cards that have a quick effect, you can't really interact with the infinite loop that is going on because Apex Avion can just negate once per chain not just infinite times obviously because you do have to successfully return the card that you are targeting with apex avion to the hand D does it really target i don't even think it targets but when you, whatever you kind of get the point and the issue with that is because if you are trying to bounce back you know your thunderbird and you get like mst for something like for example which is super super dumb well you know merry christmas because now you're forced to like bounce back your thunder or your apex avion sorry and instead of having infinite negates you only have one so uh, this is why i'm saying even though it's an infinite negate combo it technically doesn't even negate that much and also by the way if you have an apex avion that uh, you know basically alone no thunderbird no nothing and you're trying to negate something and your opponent actually goes Ghost Ogre, a lot of people would believe that Apex Avion's negation would still go through, but that is 100% incorrect because of what I just mentioned, and it's the fact that you have to successfully bounce back a Mist Valley card in order to negate and destroy the card. So, uh, yes, in case you were actually really excited on being able to play Infinite Negate combo and everything, just make sure that this is a flaw that you can deal with, otherwise uh, forget it right now. So because of the fact that Apex Avion and Thunderbird sometimes can't really be targeted by card effects, it might actually be really annoying to out them and if you're playing a deck like Sky Striker, really weird example I know, 
Uh, it might be really, really annoying because your Widow Anchor is dead. If you top deck infinite for turn, it's dead. And you're going to have a lot of dead cards. And of course, if you can't really get rid of the soft lock, then they keep on negating and special summoning back Thunderbird, etc. all over again. And also, there is one really annoying thing that they can do in order to kind of put you into even more of a misery. So if they can just summon two additional more monsters, that's it. They can make a Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax by using... IP Mascarina and Union Carrier, uh, sorry, is it Union Carrier? Yeah, Union Carrier, I I thought I called it Union Driver before, but that's just because I really recently made a Cyber ABC combo video and deck profile, make sure you check it out. <laughs> but yeah, basically, if you can actually just summon two extra monsters, you can stop your opponent from actually stopping you from negating them because uh, Crusader Avermax would just redirect all attacks to him and he's a, you know, he's a big boy, 3000 attack, kind of gets an attack equal to the amount of the, the attack that your opponent has on his monsters if it was a special summon monster, so unless you can normal summon a monster with 3100 attack, uh, to, good luck outing this and also you would be wasting your battle phase on that so you wouldn't be able to jump over the thunderbird so you would still be going up against an infinite loop that is rather annoying now like i said most of the cheap answers to the infinite negates are things that already exist in the game such as you know kaiju's dark ruler sphere mode i guess prevention such as nibiru ash on simorg uh, you can use Valor and Infinite on Union Carrier, but not on Simorg or Apex Avion if the Simorg is actually in the extra monster zone. Another thing is actually, like I said, using Ghost Ogre on Apex Avion would at least make them go from infinite negates to one negate only. If you can, you know, stop their Mascarina from going into Avermax or just hope that they can't even get there in the first place, then you can simply jump over the, you know, Thunderbird and then on Mean Feast 2, you only have one Thunderbird left to go. And if you can actually clear that Simorg right after, then they can summon back the Apex Avion again. I said Thunderbird. Apex Avion. <laughs> Sorry. What's going on with me? It's just really important to, like I said, really out the Simorg on the same turn that you're trying to do all of your actions. Because they will just keep generating more and more and more advantage. Who knows if they also play the Wind Barrier statue. That's... That could actually be nasty. If they do that turn one and then, you know, on your end phase they summon Apex Avion if you're playing a trap deck then, you know, you could actually get screwed. And it's really hard to super poly against this deck, so most of your good options are either, like I said, prevention or the cards that I listed that actually break boards very well. I know if I play Cyber Dragons, well, it's going to be quite easy for me because I can easily contact Fuse with the Simorg, I have a 2400 attack Mega Fleet, and then since the Simorg will pretty much always be the boy that is equipped with Mist Valley Thunderbird, then they kind of lose their infinite negate, so like I said, they are only down to one negate, and then I can easily jump over their Union Carrier, and then they're really unsimplified game state, and they are screwed now. But yeah, that's basically all I had to say for this review on the infinite negate combo. I mean, conclusion, do I really like this? I don't think it's a good combo, it just increases the bricks that you play in your deck, the amount of kind of unnecessary steps that you have to take in order to do this. Of course, Tri-Brigade is probably the deck that does it the best, and if your deck already played Union Carry in the first place, then you're not really adding one more brick. Simorg, I guess, is just a good card in general. Of course, this card would be good in Raid Raptors and Black Wings. it's just that you can be locked under dark when you use for example simoon and strangle lania stuff like that which could you know stop you from doing this because of course these monsters are wind so they are good but at the same time they are bad they are only good in very specific scenarios so if you're playing tri brigade pure which i don't think is a deck right now but i could be wrong uh, well me you know maybe this definitely could be annoying and just keep an eye on this because it definitely could be good at the middle of nowhere one day. But that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.